are you competing with? Who are you competing with? When you can run your own race according to your build capacity, energy, and your speed and still make it. Oh, it's rather unfortunate. In today's world, people receive more awards and recognition for winning their top place in the competition rather than standing out in their own unique calling. Questions such as, which professional dream presents the most opportunity? Which one offers more salary? Which one is easy to do? And which one receives more recognition? Are invisible forces unconsciously leading many away from the taste of identifying pursuing and fulfilling the divine purpose and dreams they are built for. Oh, how do you dance to a drum beat whose language you don't understand? Competition corrupts. Corrupts. Competition is blind. blind. The beauty of life is that we are individually unique and there should be no competition. However, the irony is that almost every one of us competes with someone. Life without competition is God's original idea and is the most peaceful journey to embark on. He therefore has set a specific purpose in your heart so that your desires will be towards fulfilling it. The core of life is for you to therefore identify and fulfill your purpose and its uniqueness keeps you in your lane throughout life. Just like shelter protects against the fierceness of the weather, so also when you identify your purpose and its uniqueness, protects you against competition. Oh, what a peaceful journey to embark on. This why is peaceful. You run your race based on your built in energy and ability. You are under no pressure to impress, no copy anybody. And you are patient to produce quality results rather than quick fix ones from hastiness. Oh, competition is a manifest proof that you lack direction in life. Competition is a manifest proof that you lack direction in life. Oh, do you know the most interesting thing? You may be a victim of competition, but if I told you, you will deny it. Think about this. When someone gives you a task to perform, you become accountable to him. If so, you have an accountability report to present before God. And let me ask you, are you ready for that? Ready for that. How long? How long? How long would How you long want to continue you... in that competition when you are not built for it? Find your space, understand it, and feel it. And feel it. Don't run a race you don't have the built-in capacity and energy for. Oh, why burn out in somebody's race when you can run your own and finish it comfortably? Don't be ashamed of your race, no matter how slow or dirty it may look. Value it and run it with pride. Oh, Peter was not built to run Paul's race. Neither was John the Baptist built to run Jesus' race. Each man is built for his own race. There is no purposeless man on the earth, but only men with confused purpose. Identify your purpose. Understand it. Copy nobody. Preserve its uniqueness and fulfill it. Remember, find your purpose and end competition in your life. You are not in a competition. For life is not athletic. Athletic. For life is not athletic. Discover your race and run it. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. Amen.